What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com and make a purchase. Next time you guys also want to make a purchase, use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. Also on the same website, if you ever want to sell your coins, you click on the help center and click on the selling section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're going to go ahead and review 88 rated Dynasty Steel Hernandez. We're looking at a card at 6 foot, high medium work rates, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot with the left foot. Acceleration type is controlled lengthy. Now we're looking at a card that has 95 pace, 76 shooting, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, 81 defending, 86 physicality. Traits that he has is rapid. Relentless, long throw, and quick step plus, aka rocket ship on gold, which is absolutely amazing for a fullback. Now, hear me out. I'm gonna go ahead and give this card the anchor chemistry style. And some people might be looking at me like I'm crazy and I should be giving him the sentinel, but I'm just gonna give him the anchor. Acceleration basically gets maxed out, sprint speed maxed out, strength 91, aggression 88, interceptions 85, defense awareness 81, stand tackling 92 slide tackle 91 now one thing i do love about this steel if i'm not mistaken he got upgraded from double three to now four star skill moves which is absolutely amazing because i do love my fullbacks at least with a four star something four star weak foot or four star skill moves Theo is gonna be playing with this cheeky team right here we're gonna be playing in a four three two one and he's gonna be playing as a left back Right next to that, Lucio. Now, personally for me, the best left back in the game is Ferlan Mendy. It could be this one, the Centurions, or the new Dynasty one that dropped a few days ago. A lot of people are saying that Theo Hernandez is the best left back in the game, which is, in my opinion, a hot take, but I can see it because he's six foot, maxed out pace, basically, really nice defensive body type, but his dribbling, I never really liked it in FIFA, especially this year. Maybe with this new upgraded card, it can change my mind. We're going to play some games in champs playoffs, see the vibes with Theo, and see if he's worth the coins because he's currently over 1 million coins. That's a lot of coins for a fullback. Game number one, let's see what type of team this guy is rocking with. The back line's okay, the midfield's kind of mid, and the attack is... It's whatever. It's an alright team, nothing crazy. And pass right there. What a tackle. What a tackle from Mr. Theo. Little shot right there. Oh! Okay, Theo. Starting out the video with a fucking banger. Things you love to see, man. Let's go. It's a great pass. Nice. Good try right there, good try. Great defense. Run Mbappe, run, run. Great LBY right there as well. Nice little turn right there. Very quick, just running in a straight line. Let's see. Steel going to catch up to Giroud. Yes, he does, man. Great stuff with that rocket ship. Good tackle. We didn't get the ball right there, unfortunately. Keeps on to the ball. Very nice. Little R1 cheese. And that's an assist. Theo attacking down that left wing. Make it four to two, and that's game over right there. Good defense. Way to stop Howling right there. Great interception. Good pass as well. Nice. Good defense once again. Good pass to Pele. That's a penalty. And Sid Steele did create the chance. We're going to go ahead and shoot it with him right here. 
Hopefully we do score top right. Makes it 2-0, man. Good stuff from the card. Keeps onto the ball still. Nice. Little LBY. Wow, this game sucks. Nice. Way to stop him right there. Doing a good job keeping onto the ball right there. Nice. Nice way to show them off. It's a great LBY, man. What a LBY from Theo. Unfortunately, Mbappe couldn't finish. Oh, Trevella. Nice, man. Good stuff. Hopefully, we can make a comeback this game, but good goal from Theo. Ooh, what a pass from Lucio to Theo. So we can make something happen. Theo again with the Travella makes it back to back great goals inside the box with the Travella. Things you love to see from the card. Great interception right there. We were baiting that. Great way, man. Theo with a clutch interception and two clutch goals. All right, boys. And that concludes the review for 88 rated Theo Hernandez Dynasties. Coming around 1.1 million coins on the Xbox and PlayStation, give or take. 2 million coins on the PC, give or take. Played three games with him. Four goals and one assist as a left back in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's a really good return for a fullback. I don't usually like reviewing left backs or right backs because it's kind of tough to get highlights with them because they're... In my opinion, they're the least, they're the cards where you don't really notice the most on the pitch unless you use your fullbacks to attack. And with the 4-3-2-1, I like using my left back a lot to attack. And with this deal, man, I'm going to go ahead and say I am impressed. I'm impressed. He's really good. Top five fullback in the game. Top three left back in the game. You can even make the argument he's top two. Personally, for me, I would still pick Mendy. I think Mendy, for me, is always going to be number one. But Theo, man, Theo brings a lot of things to the table. Number one, he's six foot. If your fullbacks are 5'10 or taller, that's a fat W. They don't necessarily have to be that height, but I prefer that height when it comes to the fullbacks. High medium work rates is pretty solid. I know some people prefer medium high work rates or high high work rates. I think high medium work rates are good enough. He has four-star skill moves. That's amazing. He can now croquetta. Heel to heel, standing scoop turn. Before with the goal, Theo Hernandez and the informant, and the informant, if I'm not mistaken, he was double three. So that's a big improvement from Theo, making him three three to four three. Next pro is the pace. Obviously, one of the best aspects from Theo is that he's super super quick. Combination with that pace, quick step on plus, and rapid. So he just it just makes it even faster. Whether you're running in a straight line, performing step overs or tracking back LBYs or Y balls. He never got outpaced and he never got Y ball, which is something I do love about this steal a lot. Now, his defensive awareness is only 77, but it goes up to 81. And he, defensively, he did a really good job. His defensive AI was really good, performed a lot of clutch interceptions, stand tackling was A1, physicality was A1 as well with the 83 strength and 84 aggression, going up to the high 80s and low 90s. Phenomenal from the card. One really underrated stat from this Theo Hernandez is that he has 92 stamina, which means he's going to last through the majority of the game. Usually when I attack with my fullbacks, they tend to have like low stamina, but having Theo Hernandez as your left back, we are playing games on extra time, and he wasn't even that tired, man. He was still going, attacking full strength down that left wing, and he came up with two clutch goals and extra time to be fair. Passing is really good as well with 83 short pass. So that's something I do like from the card since he did have one assist in three games. Finishing is actually pretty good. You know, 72 finishing is actually really good for a fullback. So don't be afraid to shoot with this card inside the box. As you guys saw, the Travella is really nice with Theo Hernandez. Now, something from Theo that I don't like every single FIFA and it's still something that 
bugs me a little bit from this card is the dribbling specifically the left stick dribbling 78 balance 80 agility with 81 ball control is not bad but it's not top tier and with Theo's body type he's a, he's a little bit thick in game so he doesn't really move exactly super agile like other fullbacks like Kafu, Hakimi, Ferland Mendy but aside from that this is still an exceptional fullback the only thing I can say negative about this card is the left stick dribbling is a little clunky at times and he has three star weak foot obviously I would have preferred if he had four star weak foot but three star weak foot isn't the end of the world so this card is going to get a thumbs up for me and rating wise for dynasty steel hernandez he's going to get a nine out of ten absolutely amazing card top two to three fullback in the game probably for sure top two left back in the game you guys let me know in the comment section down below for those of you guys that tried out both Theo Hernandez this version and Ferland Mendy whether it's the Centurions or the new dynasties which one do you guys prefer do you guys prefer Ferland Mendy this year or Theo Hernandez but that concludes the review for this card thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing I think the next video I'm going to be dropping is going to be some post patch 352 custom tactics if they don't drop a really cracked out SBC for this promo i don't think they're gonna drop any good sbcs because it's during the week and during the week they don't really be dropping anything crazy i could be wrong on that ea could prove me wrong on that but we'll have to see so till next time it's been your boy dan fifa and i am out bye bye